welcome to our video today. It's all about home internet security. And I don't know if you have heard about OpenDNS. I wanna share with you how you can use it at home so that you can have that extra layer of security while browsing the internet. One of the things I like here is the ability for you to block websites, especially if you have young people at home and you want to restrict some of those sites, then you can do it. Yes, OpenDNS is a part of Cisco, so it's legit. Jump into my computer right now and I'm going to show it with you. Okay, so here on my computer, I'll just go ahead and jump in, type in open DNS. I'll also put the link on the description below so that you can just go ahead and click that one, jump into their website. So quick overview here. You can see it up here. Open DNS is now a part of Cisco. So no need to worry about this. As you can see, they have uh, enterprise security here, but we're into the consumer end. So click here, learn more, or probably here, consumer tab, okay? Try to find this button. You can click that and DNS services for your home or small business. Scroll it down here. You can see open DNS family shield, pre-configured to block adult content. Set it and forget it, okay? So that would be very good if you want to do that. But for me, I want to have more control about this. So I want to jump into open DNS home. Um, you will have a bit of more kind of um, setup wherein you need to sign up as well. Now here on the lower part here, home that has home VIP, then you need to pay $19.95 a year. And then Umbrella Prosumer is 20 per user. Okay, we don't want to spend the money. We just want an extra layer of security. So let's just go ahead and sign up for OpenDNS Home. So what I'm going to do is um, fill, it, fill in here. You go and type yours. Yes, get the free account. Let's do it. Now here guys, take note of this one because we are going to use these guys on our router if we're going to configure that. Then if you do not know what you're doing, you can also choose your device here. So if you try to go here, there are set of routers that you can see here like TP-Link, CR700 and so on and so forth, ASUS router configuration. The brands of routers are here on how you're going to configure them. So basically I just close that one I was able to create my account. I'll do login first. I'll put in my email address here because we created our account. All right. Okay, so we need to go to our email address and do the confirmation so that we, we are going to have that uh, more settings here. So, does my card IP, you know it? Yeah. Okay, so I'll just go to my email. There you go, open DNS. Let's go ahead and click that. Okay, so we're confirmed right now. So what I'm going to do is add a network. So. It is important that you add a network, of course, add a network. So it will uh, basically get the IP address, my IP address right now. And yeah, it basically got that one there. I'll just add this to my network, home office. Okay, I'll just put it that way. This is a dynamic IP. Yes, this is a dynamic IP address. So I'm just going to leave that one and then done. Now I'm going to click here. Um, you can choose your filtering level here. Like for high, you have uh, these sites like protect against adult related sites, illegal activities, social networking sites, video sharing sites. It's up to you, but you can always customize this one. If you want to, you can click on customize. Then these are the categories that you are blocking. So if you can customize this one, you can go ahead and uncheck the things that you don't want to be blocked. So let's go ahead for, uh, it will jump into customize. You can go for low if you do, if you just want to go for low. You can go ahead and view the categories that, that are being blocked here. Okay, um, um, additional kinds of uh, security that you will have here on the side is the security tab. Then malware botnet protection, you will have this one. Phishing protection, you will also have those ones. 
and it's up to you if you want to block internal IP address that is coming from the outside going to the inside like these ones okay so for me I'm um, you can always block this one at home that would be good customization um, like what I've said I've been using this one eight years ago and when I was working in a small company we, we use this one we, you can change your logo here especially if you're on a small office kind of setup and you cannot afford or you don't want to spend money for um, blocking websites so that the, the employees or staffs are going to be productive then um, you can put your logo here rather than open DNS okay you can just go ahead here and upload now the next thing we need to do so that uh, this um, filtering is going to take an effect we need to log into our router we place one in the DHCP configuration they are going to get the DNS services here so if you try to go to my laptop right now and I'll just go ahead and CMD IP config all slash all uh, let's try to see Wi-Fi adapter you can see my DNS let's try DNS server is this IP address we need to change this ones with these guys here below these ones okay and we can start uh, we can manually change these ones but it is better if we change it on the router so that every time a computer a mobile PC a mobile device is going to connect to our network it will automatically apply because I'll give you a quick example here I'll go to my Wi-Fi device open network settings then I'll go here change adapter settings then this is my Wi-Fi I'm going to kind of go to properties then here on my device I'll go to this one and I need to type in that IP address from open DNS so I need to type this DNS IP address into this preferred DNS server and I'm going to do that one manually to each device if I want the filtering or the internet security from open DNS to apply to each device we don't want to be doing that every time someone's going to connect so the best option for us is to go through our Wi-Fi router and then change the DNS settings for the router which is giving out this IP address to our devices okay so that's what I'm going to do so I'll jump in here I'll log into my Wi-Fi router that is um, 192.168.0.1 okay you remember this one this is from my last video so if you don't know how to access this one you go ahead go back to my last video and you will be able to know how to access your Wi-Fi router okay so um, okay so when you log into your Wi-Fi router like what I have here here you can see you need to find DHCP okay once you find this one you need to go ahead and type in a DNS server here secondary DNS so I'm going to go to you open DNS 2086722222 okay so 208.67.222.222 okay how about the other one that's 208.67.220.220 that's 67.220.220 okay save I'll save that once that's saved you need to go back here on your um, where's that Wi-Fi change adapter settings then what I'm going to do is you can go ahead and disable and enable this one or if you like something a bit cool you can also go here command prompt then type in IP config we need to release the IP address that is currently stored on our device well we can we will not use that one but it will not take effect right away so I just want to kind of release everything the IP configuration of my laptop so that I'm going to grab the new configuration coming from my Wi-Fi router because if we are not going to do that one is still the security features is not applicable unless it's a new device that's going to connect to our Wi-Fi router okay so I'm just going to go ahead ipconfig slash release and ipconfig slash renew okay now if you want to do the command prompt that would be very cool but if you don't want to do the command prompt like what I've said 
you can go ahead to the adapter settings, right click disable. After you disable it, you go back and enable it. So that's going to refresh the connection, okay? So let's try to check here, uh, Wi-Fi, wireless, where is my wireless? Where are you, dude? Okay, so I need to do IP config slash all. Sorry. Oh, there you go. It changed. This is the new one. So what would I browse here? Let's try to see website block so that we can see the effect. But this will take about, I don't know, five. This will take about three minutes, guys. So it says here, uh, network social networking site. So I'll just try to do Facebook. It is included in the social networking site. So let's just give it a try. And um, yeah, this is what we get. Okay, so let's try to go ahead and click advance. There's nothing here. Um, how about this? Okay, so we get the same scenario. How about, um, is this a social networking site? It's kind of photo site, but depending on the category. Okay, so it's also blocked, okay? So depending on the level of security or how you customize the website you're going to block, then this is what's going to show up. Now, if you have changed the logo of uh, OpenDNS, you upload your own logo, it will show up here, your logo will show up here that you block this one, okay? So anyways, that's just about it, guys. Just the, the concept here is you're going to make use of the DNS of open DNS, configure it to your router, then make sure that you're going to add your public IP address through open DNS so that open DNS will know you, which one you're going to use this internet security for. Then that's just about it. Well, I hope you have learned something from this video, guys. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed, help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribers. See you on my next video, guys.